hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is enable the b2 i am a student currently schooling in the uk i'm doing my second master's degree and i give students tips on studying abroad and share my student experience here in the uk if you have any questions you ask in the comment section but keep watching this video for more tips hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is any enobong ebitu <laughs> um you can call me any from fantastic tv and today i am here to give you guys the most important things guys hold on hold up hold up if i've never given anything like if you've never like considered anything i've posted on my youtube channel important these tips right here are the most important ones guys for africans especially my african brothers they're number one and you know for any other person that's coming to the uk these few tips would save you time money energy just think of it all okay so these few tips are things that you should do you know what to look out for when you come into the uk to study okay just hold your ears take your pen take your paper and then write these things down guys because i'm going to break it down for you i'm going to give you personal experiences and i'm just here to make sure that your student life is the bomb okay and you don't go back you know after one year crying okay you come to the uk you study and then you go back like with so much so much achievement so make sure that you're writing this down and let's get right into the video guys so the very first important thing guys the first thing immediately you land in the uk is to apply for your national insurance number ni is so important guys and like it's so important because if you like to show you how important it is okay if you find out about it late and you apply late you could get like the next appointment in one to two or three months so that's how important it is so you should try your best to apply for an ni look for the number online or you know check um, the uk gov website for the insurance number so that you register for it just go and type how to get my national insurance and then you call up the number ring up the number and then book an appointment for a national insurance number guys without a national insurance number it's so hard for you to get a job you can get a job but there are lots of jobs that would need a national insurance a lot of things that have to do with you know career national insurance is very very important so first thing national insurance guys now the next thing and then that i'm going to talk about is student discounts guys make use of every student discount even if it's one pound off guys collect it you deserve it the school fees that you paid is too much okay so every student discount every student assistant every student anything that concerns you that will just help you save money make sure that you're using it uni days is an example of that guys i bought um a tablet the samsung tablet true uni days from samsung i got it directly from them and then so this is the tablet okay this tablet was meant to cost around 300 and something pounds but because of my discount i got this for 200 and something pounds and that's not even the end of it guys i got a free earpiece with that so just see how many things that i've been able to save just by using a student discount so make sure that you're using a student discount another important area for student discounts are transportations okay transportation services you know you could get like um, a really really crazy discount you know on transport services for buses for coaches i'm not sure about train i think for a train you get like a train card and that's something that applies to everyone but for buses you could get like a month ticket for for half price you know it's it's that crazy you know so 
getting those things you know it might look like a huge money at the point that you're getting it but it just saves you so much stress you know saves you the constant reminder that you have to pay for a bus service and it's when you calculate it guys it is more expensive than buying with a student discount in bulk so make sure make sure for any city in the uk any bus service that you are using there's always a discount if you can get a yearly ticket that's great okay if you get a monthly ticket or a term ticket that's perfect so make sure that you get that that would really help you the next tip okay the next tip that i'm going to give to you is don't rush to get a house on campus okay most people rush to get like a student um, camp, um, student apartment on campus you know they want to have that full school experience honestly it's not a bad idea okay if you have the money to do it that's fine but there are definitely cheaper options out there it might be stressful at first because you might have to go into an airbnb or stay in a hotel for a few days because i always advise you look at those apartments but trust me the houses of are like half the price okay of what you will get or there's a few pounds knocked off and you know you're paying per month so imagine 100 pounds for 12 months guys that's 1000 pounds so that's some crazy savings that you will be doing right there so please try as much as possible to just chill you know chill i'm not saying you shouldn't get it if you feel it's convenient for you and probably you get like a good deal on it or you checked other houses and that was the only one available then fine but the third party accommodations from other landlords are usually a bit cheaper and yeah you just you know get to explore the city more because you live within the city so i would definitely advise third party homes against you know accommodation on campus now the next important thing that will save you guys if you are coming into the uk a job opportunity is like a job experience is more important than that education you're doing like quote me anywhere okay i know <laughs> like i know what a job experience would open for you so please try as much as possible to apply for jobs as soon as you go in especially junior roles or you know things that you know are more graduate roles that you could easily get into now i know that you might get re rejections or whatever but the more you do job you know interviews the more you talk to people you would know what jobs entail and you would know how to position yourself next time you would know what roles are easier to get so please make sure that you are applying for roles as much as possible immediately you land from september because that's there's a period for recruitment by firms firms don't just stand up one day and say i need this okay a lot of firms that would take students you know they have a period that they do these things so if you are not actively in the process you wouldn't find these opportunities so september is a really nice time to do those things and you know that's where you just come in you're still fresh in speak to someone you know speak to the career team with your school guys all schools have this um most times they are so important about employability because they know that the experience is so important so speak to the career team within your school they would help with your cv they would help you you know tell you okay why not take volunteering roles they could help you you know so you could get more experience and apply for those things they would just advise you on what to do so careers jobs or entail experience it's more of experience than the school that you're in you know i wish someone told me this earlier so i'm telling you now so that you won't come here and then you'll go back crying okay so the last one that i'm going to say here is just a bonus one for my african people um it is that if you can't find an african shop for any reason indian shops or eastern europe shops are a perfect example because indians eat things like okra um and sometimes they kind of have the same test spots like us they like chili so these are things that you would find in those shops so if you can't find some african shop that you will stick to um, you could try an indian shop or try the indian section in a big supermarket if they have it but yeah find your african shop as soon as possible guys it's just just help you feel less homesick because you could make your meals at home and you can enjoy yourself while you're doing your studies 
okay guys um i hope that this few points that i have stated you know have sunk in there because trust me if you come here and then you don't do this most important ones or you would end up you know losing money or you know go back without an experience or go back without doing something good so the earlier you started and you know to research these things the better it will be for you so i have any um i talk on scholarships on education my student life here in the uk and i just help your experience to be better see you guys in the next video bye